This is from the All Like Company. So that's how you spell it. A-L-L-L-I-K-E, the All Like Company. This guy is 21 pounds. This is definitely a little bit beefier than the other one, but this is something that you could power lots of things in like an RV or a boat. We did a ton of boating this year. This will run a small mini fridge. This will run tools. This will run multiple laptops. It's a thousand watts and I think a 1037 watt hour capacity. So it will handle the kick on voltage of a lot of power tools. So maybe you need to run some power tools, but you don't want to run a gas generator because of the noise, uh, especially in marinas with boats and fuel and stuff. It's nice to have one of these because you don't have to bring any fuel and a generator with you. You can run all your stuff in complete silence. They also do offer solar charging and solar power to recharge these. So simple buttons on this one, light, power AC the light on this one again if I turn it on and then I turn the light on you can see it right there so it has several different brightness modes it's gonna have the the flashing SOS mode that can be really cool if you were having an emergency you could put that on there if you were camping or something which is pretty slick I do also like on this one the interface so it's simple easy to read there's nothing too fancy about it you've got your power which is going to be for dc or ac uh, a lot of times they'll keep the ac off if you don't need it because there is an actual cost energy wise for the thing to be able to put out ac so it doesn't have to fire up the inverter um, so dc wise this thing's going to have a thousand 37 watt hours of capacity, which is about three times and a half more than the other device did. There it went to auto sleep because we weren't doing anything. It does have USB-C, uh, it does have USB-A, DC output as well for your barrel jacks. It's gonna have USB-C. It has a charging adapter for your car. Now the other one didn't have a car charging adapter. So you could charge it, it needs 15 volts. It has a little power adapter. This one has a car charger plug. So you can plug that cigarette lighter style plug in. Uh, let's take a look at the AC outlets on the back. This is where things get interesting. Two 1000 watt AC outlets. Now, 1,000 watts will run a lot of kettles, so if you're trying to boil water while you're camping, that's a big thing. Uh, it's not gonna run a cooktop or maybe even a hairdryer on high, but it might do a hairdryer on low. Uh, you might find a microwave. One danger on microwaves is they tend to peak up to like 1,200 watts and then come back down, but that's a whole nother issue. I do like the fact that the input cover here covers the solar charging input, which uses a cable that it comes with, and a traditional I love this, a PC power cable. And it comes with a power cable. Theirs is a little bit small, but you can go ahead and plug this thing in most of the time and keep it topped off. And then when the power goes out, it's ready to go, which is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna do that same power test that we had before. This time I'm turning the AC on though. Now there is a fan, my noise canceling is probably knocking it out. So there's gonna be some noise when you're using AC on this thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug in our test lamp so you guys can see this. And again, I love the front panel on this. We're going to take a look at that here in a second. So I plugged the light in. Instantly it works. We've got that running for everybody on TikTok that's just tuning in. Right here, it's saying I'm using 27 watts. It's a 25 watt light bulb, so that's good. Uh, it says I have 37 hours of capacity. So pretty good. Now the other thing that we said was that this uh, has a thousand watt hours capacity, but if I do have power, so what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna have wattage input that's gonna show up here in just a few seconds, hopefully, and that's gonna be charging the internal battery. I, I think it's topped off, so it's not really caring, but that will actually charge the battery while you're using it, which is pretty slick. Uh, you can see the hour count just keeps going up right here. So that's pretty neat about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to our device. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now it's really noisy, but it's working. You can see that vibrating. If you look here, I'm using, I'm using 123 watts. Now I'm back down. When I turn that off, this is gonna take a little while. It dropped it down to nine hours. So I could run an oscillating tool for nine hours with something like this. There's lots of different things. You could plug in a laptop charger. You can plug in uh, iPads, other devices. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug these items from it. The one thing I don't like is that the fan does run continuously when you're running that heavy duty inverter. So that was one drawback. But if you want to, you can plug in USB-C uh, devices. So this is the 
that other plug that I was telling you about. So this is the one that plugs in and that's your 12 volt for cars or if you want to charge it via solar. It does have fast charging on the different ports up to 100 watts on the uh, USB-C port. So this will power your MacBook directly. You don't need to bring your MacBook charger uh, or other PC in that case. It does have a 450 watt charging rate input, which means, depending on math, about two and a half hours to charge from fully dead, which is pretty slick. And then if you're doing the solar port over here or the car charging, it's 120 watts up to 30 volts. So it has a wide range of voltage input from 12, I think all the way up to 30 volts that you can charge it with. So pretty slick. Just wanted to again, thank these guys for sending their product out for a fair and honest review demonstration.